Um, so neither of us um, really grew up in the church, and we um, came to Christ uh, close to our 30s, around our 30s, and God put a lot of missionally minded people, um, missionary, um, children of missionaries um, who, um, who challenged us to think about going abroad. We wanted to tell other people about the life-changing reality of Jesus Christ because we felt so, we just, we, now we're loved, now we're accepted, now we're forgiven and we want to share that. Spent some time trying to figure out what that would look like and just nothing ever worked. Um, I think looking back on it, it has a lot to do with me and that I wanted to keep my job as an airline pilot and do missions work on the side. But looking back now, I see that uh, God just wanted my full attention and full service, and we needed to be all in. And so we just prayed the prayer, like it says in Isaiah 6, 8, of here we are, send us. And we took the filters of our wanting to go to a specific location or doing a specific job off. And through that, we talked to a number of sending organizations and found through our conversation with Wycliffe that they needed someone with an aviation background and a business background to help accelerate Bible translation. And we both laughed and cried and were super excited that that job existed, um, but also just amazed at God's preparation for uh, me professionally over the past 20 so years to prepare for that specific job. So throughout this process, it's been uh, just an incredible walk closer to God as we get closer to going to serve in Papua New Guinea. And I think we've both been amazed at how God provides in specific, perfect timing ways of His plan to get us there. Um, it's not always, wasn't always on what our maybe time schedule was or what our thoughts were of what that plan was. But really, it's just about, it's not about our ability, it's about our availability to God's call. Missionaries aren't defined by geography, it's defined by bringing glory to God and sharing the life-changing reality of Jesus Christ.